Burkina Faso spelled two French spies. Uh, Ukraine, Edward Tillerly, uh, played a huge role in stopping Russia invasion. U.S. Senator says that Vladimir Putin must be taken out. These are the topics I'm going to talk about. And uh, yes, I'm Bob Sankarian. Make sure you subscribe and hit like. The state television announced that the uh, Burkina Faso government banned two French spies from entering the country. And the French citizens were arrested uh, last week and deported back to their country. They were in Burkina Faso asking for information about the country's security forces. Burkina Faso and Mali, they cut both these two countries, they cut ties with France because of the continuous interference of the France government in their internal affair. France lost all influence in these two countries. Both countries accused France of supporting Islamic extremists in northern Mali. In Burkina Faso, government suspended French radio uh, France Internationale last week for allowing jihadists uh, to pass an intimidation message. Uh, Anti-French pr protests uh, have become frequent in Ouagadougou. Protesters attacked the French embassy and burned the French cultural center in the capital, Ouagadougou. People now see France as an obstacle to the development of their country. French companies are exploiting their natural resources and taking them to France. While the population of uh, this, these two countries, especially Burkina, doesn't benefit from the resources. These two countries, Burkina Faso, Mali, do not need France, okay, to keep stealing their resources and creating problems. Therefore, France troops in Burkina need to be spelled, and Burkina should build its military forces very strong so they can be able to defend against any Western forces trying to impose the will of their people. I'm going to go to Russia. So when, uh, when Russia invaded um, Ukraine on 24 February 2022, many international TV channels gave credit to U.S. anti-tank missile Javelin and British and law for stopping advancing Russian troops. But what really helped the most was the heavy Ukrainian artillery, which rained fire on Russians. And Vladimir Putin's main goals were to capture Kiev, demilitarize, and the, the Nazify Ukraine. But Ukrainian heavy artillery, TB2 by Raktor drone with anti tank missiles, fended off Russian advancing toward Kiev. If you remember, everyone was saying that uh, Ukraine would not last uh, two weeks, they would fall. The two artillery uh, brigade in, in Kiev rained mass fire to halt troops moving to conquer the Ukrainian capital. As Russians uh, rolled north from the Belarus border, Ukraine concentrated the artillery in the Russian position and opened massive fire, which forced uh, Russians to withdraw and focus their attention on Eastern Ukraine. Ukrainians had a small amount of anti-tank weapons at the beginning of the war, but their, their de determination to, to engage Russians with all that they had made all difference. They knew that focusing on concentrated Russian tanks units and the best is the best way to go. And the best weapon to do uh, that is artillery. Despite the Russian advance, uh, advantage in numbers and weapons, Zelensky thoroughly uh, interrupted uh, Putin tanks from advancing to Kiev. The intense artillery fire made it impossible for Russia to cross Ukrainian defensive forces. They also upgraded their Soviet-era tanks to be able to fire anti-tank guided missile, which made a lot of difference. Upgrading their anti-tank uh, missile in their tanks gave the Ukrainian tank commanders the ability to use the sighting system to acquire the target because they can sit in position and look uh, and lock the target and uh, more safely guide the missile toward the target. And more recently, IMARS rocket mixed with uh, heavy artillery have uh, risen as the decisive uh, weapon in the front line. 
American Republican Senator says that uh, the best way to, to end this war quickly is to kill Vladimir Putin as soon as possible. He says that the uh, United States should give Ukraine Grey Eagle drones to kill a ton of Russians. Lindsey Graham says, uh, quoting, how does this war end? He asks a question. When Russia breaks, uh, they, they take Putin out. Anything sort of that, the war is going to continue. The senator says that the U.S. is in need to win it, and they have to break the Russian military, and they have someone in Russia take take Putin out, and give uh, Ukrainian uh, uh, Russian people opportunity to be free from the regime. Back in March, he asked if there is any Brutus in Russia who could kill Putin. U.S. and Russia's relationship is deteriorating even more with uh, this type of rhetoric, peaceful solution for this war is looking impossible now. Graham also says that uh, uh, President Biden should give Zelensky long-range weapons to reach Moscow so Ukraine can bomb Moscow whenever Russia rain bombs uh, into Kiev. He says that the U.S. should never stop supporting Ukraine and that um, if the U.S. give uh, larger drones like uh, the Reaper and Grey Eagle, they would be able to kill a larger number of Russians troops without losing many soldiers. This is Boss Ankarian and do not forget to subscribe, like and share.